Back to the drawing board for Milwaukee's Common Council after the mayor vetoed the board's proposed district maps. Now this comes after major pushback from the Hispanic and Latino communities. Sarah McGrew explains why. One in five people in Milwaukee identify as Hispanic or Latinx, and it's the fastest growing population in the city. But activists in the community say that the new city council map doesn't represent that change. In the new district map put forward by the Common Council, districts 8 and 12 are already majority Hispanic and Latinx. It affects quality of representation. It affects um, the policies. Which is why the Hispanic Collaborative and other organizations say there should be a third district that is majority Hispanic and Latinx to reflect the growing population. And with that, be able to have a uh, greater representation uh, in terms of uh, uh, folks that you know come from the Latino community. In the current map, activists say districts 11, 13, and 14 split up the Latinx and Hispanic population and dilute the community's voting power. Really doesn't reflect the Latino population uh, both its current growth pattern and especially its future growth pattern. Which is why they asked Mayor Barrett to veto the proposed map, which he did on Monday, saying in part, Milwaukee's diversity is an undeniable strength. It is only fair that growing populations be afforded political representation proportionate to their size and shared stake in the community. Immigration is a major issue. Bilingual education is another example, again, that affects our community. Those are issues that we want to make sure we have representatives that um, understand those issues. Voces de la Frontera has proposed alternative maps for the council to consider, like this one, which pulls from districts 11, 13, and 14 to create that third majority Latinx district. Activists also noted that the timeline the city had to create these maps was significantly condensed, but now with the mayor's veto and more time, they're hoping to have meaningful dialogue within the community. Reporting in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.